Come on. Most people that live in the South are going to have one of these by every door. Reason being, come on, knucklehead. Watch your butt. It keeps the mosquitoes from racing in with you every single time. I brought you guys out here this morning, even though we're going to do a shop update. Because it's just pretty out here. This is the progress in the garden. Salvia is finally starting to bloom. It's little though. One of these days I'm going to have like a proper garden. I'll work towards that. Goals, people. Have goals. But yeah, I've already pulled... Oh, this one's ripening up. These are ripening. I've already pulled... Uh, a couple of tomatoes off of here. Uh, they're delicious. Squash. This is the squash and cucumber one. And I built this trellis. And boy, <laughs> they are climbing to the moon, aren't they? Sun is not quite over the houses yet. It's Bonnie's crepe myrtle. She's a gardener too. She's got some beautiful flowers next door. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel like the end of July out here. It feels like it feels like a West Coast kind of a morning. You don't have that humidity. You've got an awesome breeze. So yeah, this is just a little... This is my patio out back on a day where it's not raining, which doesn't happen that often, it seems like. It seems like it's been almost tropical like a jungle or rainforest. So, I think that's my first pumpkin that's not on the ground. I had one that was on the ground, but the possums got it. Kind of bummed about that, but they haven't gotten that one because it's not on the ground. You guys grazing? You helping me eat the tall grass, Molly? Pepper. In a little bit. <laughs> Wait for me to finish this video, and we will. I promise. Don't get zoomies. It's too early for zoomies. But, yep. And then here is... Here's the progress in the watermelon. Biggin'. So far, so good. Still growing. Garden manager. Okay, this is what I've got for you this morning, and if you're watching it today, then it's probably my tomorrow, but that's okay, because I snuck out. I'm going fishing, just saying. This is the Mac Nix Craw, and the only reason that I've named it the Mac Nix is that I was listening to Gold Dust Woman by Fleetwood Mac that's sung by Stevie Nicks. So there you go. Life's mysteries resolved. But it's cool, and I like it. Um, there's no true uh, detail black in this. This is all the black magenta. And against greens and blues, it almost gives off a brownish hue, which I like. It's good shading for this. I think that a really dark sepia would work as a shade uh, um, detail tone as well. But you can see we've got some red vein underneath. This is just that metallic mesh skirting. The bait was wrapped. So it's got uh, a fluorescent red and yellow underneath, and then I wrapped it and then sprayed on some lime green, some blue green, a little bit of Maui blue, a little more lime green, and all of that combined with this black magenta really did some cool stuff on it and those really awesome eyes. I'm, you know what, I'm probably using them too much because I'm going to be out of them soon and I probably will never be able to find them again. But I love these eyes. They're fantastic for craws as an alternative to red or black because everybody uses red or black eyes on craws. And for stuff like this, I think that these eyes go with this type of a color scheme better than a red or a black. Although traditionally, if you want to match the hatch, most of the time your crawfish are going to have black eyes. 
So that would work well on this too. This is one of those um, blitzes that you can find at Dinger Baits. Schultz also carries them. Um, love the plastic and the mold from Dingers. So, but actually I think I got this batch from Eason over at Dingers and they've been swim tested. I like them just fine. But if you want the better quality blank, you might wanna compare both, see what works for you guys. Imperial Cross, you guys have seen before. It's almost like Noah's Ark in here. I've got two by twos. Um, now with stuff like this, I insert the eyes and then spray because the, the eyes that come with the duo blanks um, don't look right if you just insert them afterwards on a craw pattern. You need to really paint the eyes on stuff like this. But this is that Imperial Crawl. It's got just a hint of bone or, um, actually I think it's a burnt orange that I used on that. A little bit of blue on the back. This one's a little plainer on the back. Uh, these were requested. And then I've got just a little bit of detail gray shading these. So you can really see that shade and the color shift. I've got a lot of pearlescent paint on this as well. So that's those two, two by twos, right? Noah's Ark here. European Hornets, it's for different customers. It's everybody's ordering these and I'm loving spraying them. This is just so much fun. But um, I don't know I, if you guys saw the spray session I did on them. The European Hornet is about two inches long. So this is not an unrealistic match to hatch. And the it looks like it, I'm just saying. This is a very, very similar representation to what these big old critters, I wouldn't want one flying at me, I don't think, um, to what they look like in real life. So look it up. Look, uh, Actually, and I think it's, um, gosh, is it? Uh, you can find it in regular encyclopedias and all kinds of nature stuff, but I think I got my information from Wikipedia. Hey, if it's on the internet, it must be right. Huh? I love doing discus. This is just a basic red discus. Then we got some mice, mice, baby. Got five of those. Four of them are claimed on orders, but I have an extra. So I think this little guy is my extra. Just a, you, ever, you guys ever read a book, City Mouse, Town Mouse, Town Mouse and the Country Mouse, something like that? Um, cute little kid's book. A few moms and dads out there have young children and you haven't read that book to your kids. Go find it. It's a very cute book. Town Mouse and the Country Mouse. I think my mom read it to me when I was a little girl. Red Eyes. I got the red eyes on the semi-albino and the lighter colored tans. And then I've got three darks going out, the brownish hue with the pink belly. Get you under the light so you guys can see it a little bit better. And again, I inserted the eyes and... Because these, these eyes are a little bit bigger, the eye sockets, than just a 6 mil. So I think it's like a 6.2 or a 6.5. So I just inserted some red larger eyes that fill up this eye socket on these wake baits. And then just sprayed them in black. And you can do that just low pressure. Just use low pressure on it. But that is all the news that's fit to print this morning. This is the lighter one. Also cool, got some shavings off. I'm in the process of cleaning off the eye, the eyelets. So that's what we got for you guys this morning. These will be dressed and out the door. And then if you guys are following me on Facebook, you guys have seen me in the process of doing this at different stages. So you guys will probably see another video coming out tonight, which again, that's gonna be my tomorrow. Your today is my tomorrow, if that makes any sense at all. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week, which could be my next month. I mean, who knows? Time is relevant. All right. Happy casting, fish heads. We'll see you later.